Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do some Pilates. Get yourselves ready. Hi, this is Rory Antonia from Devon. Fitness has been our lifestyle and our passion forever. And it's been our profession for 15 years. Now we're making fitness videos to help you through the storm that's battering all our lives. We're all in this together. Let us help you stay fit to stay sane. Right, so get yourself in your standing posture. With your feet, hip width apart and parallel, soft knees, pull up through your spine, pull up tall, bring your shoulders back and down. Take a big deep breath in through your nose now. And as you exhale, try and release all the tension from the shoulders and from your neck. So just give them a little shake and then let your shoulders relax down. Okay, now uh, soft knees, straight back, long neck, head top up. Good, hopefully you're standing really well. Now place your hands on your rib cage with your middle fingers touching and we're gonna start to take those big wide breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. So really just getting ourselves into the breathing properly. Big lateral thoracic breaths going on, filling the lungs right up and then empty them out completely. All right, so hands on the rib cage, middle fingers touching, uh, shoulders back and down, let's do it. Big deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And again. And out through your mouth. So fill up wide, big wide breath in. Really feeling the whole of the lung, right to the bottom of the lungs fill up. And then exhale through your mouth. And one more time, big deep breath in. And out through your mouth. Good, and then just let your arms relax down by your sides. Okay, next we're gonna remind ourselves of what we do with the abdominals every time we exhale right the way through the class. So we're gonna be pulling the abdominals in tight and flat every time we exhale. Anyway, get your fingertips together, index fingers together, thumbs together. Place the tips of your index fingers on your pubic bone, thumbs just above the navel hands resting flat there over your abdominals and just for these first few we're going to focus on the pelvic floor only so for the first three of these just squeeze those pelvic floor muscles feel them pull in feel them pull in tight okay here goes inhale to prepare as you exhale squeeze those pelvic floor muscles in tight pelvic floor a little squeeze happening at the front little squeeze happening in your backside everything pulled in the lower abdominals pulled in there and then release as you inhale and as you exhale, squeeze those pelvic floor muscles in. Pull in, pull up. Pull in, pull up, and a little squeeze. And release as you inhale. And one more time, exhale, pull in the pelvic floor, and squeeze. Good, and release. Now stay the way you are, because now we're going to include the second part, which is where all the abdominals get pulled in tight. Pelvic floor first, and then navel to spine. Everything sucked in as flat as you possibly can. All right, let's do it. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine. Hold it all in tight. Release as you inhale. And as you exhale, pull in pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine. Everything pulled in really, really, really tight and flat there. And release as you inhale. And exhale, squeeze in, pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine, pull it all in really tight and flat, and then release it all. Okay, let go of your arms, just let your arms hang down by your sides. Now we're going to do a, a few roll downs, a curl downs to the floor, and so you're going to bring your chin down to your chest and then you're going to continue rolling down. But remember, the abdominals get pulled in really tight as you exhale down. All right, so stand up tall, take a big deep breath in. As you exhale, pull in pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine. Bring your chin down to your chest and then continue to roll down one vertebra at a time. Keep the abdominals pulled in nice and tight all the way down. Keep it smooth, keep it steady all the way down. When your hands are down there, release, inhale. And as you exhale, pull in tight and flat. Pull those abdominals in nice and tight so they're supporting your spine as it straightens up. Once you're straight, release your shoulders. Now inhale, stretch up to the ceiling. Stretch those arms up, turn your hands out. Exhale, stretch down to your fingertips as the arms come down to your sides. Inhale as you bend your knees a little. Let your arms float up to the parallel of the floor. 
exhale, pull in to straighten up, release the shoulders. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the abdominals in tight, chin to chest, come down one vertebra at a time, slow, smooth, just let your arms hang down, the knees are soft, when your hands are there, breathe in, and as you breathe out, pull in tight and flat as you straighten up, and once you're straight, let your shoulders relax down, and then inhale, stretch your arms up. Turn your hands out, exhale, stretch down, the abdominals pulled in as you bring your arms down. Inhale, bend your knees, let your arms float up. Exhale, pull in tight to straighten up. And just one more time, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in tight, chin to chest, roll it down. Release, inhale. Exhale, squeeze in. Or to navel, navel to spine, everything pulled in really tight and flat, stacking one vertebra on top of the other until you're straight. Release, inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands out, exhale, stretch down your arms as you bring them down. Inhale, bend your knees, let your arms float up. Exhale, pull in to straighten up, release the shoulders. Now, we're going to do just a couple, just two, where this time, instead of curling down, we're gonna keep the back straight, push the bottom out, back stays really straight and you bring your chest down till it's parallel to the floor or as if you can that is all right let's do it inhale to prepare as you exhale pull your abdominals in tight first then push your bottom out towards the wall behind you then keeping your back really straight and your chin off your chest come down until your chest is parallel to the floor or thereabouts now just let your hands hang down under the shoulders now you'll feel a stretch going on through your hamstrings right here big deep breath in as you exhale, squeeze your abdominals in as you straighten up, release your shoulders. Inhale, stretch it up. Turn your hands out. Exhale, pull in as you bring your arms down. Inhale, bend, let the arms float up. Exhale, pull in tight. One last time. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in tight. Push your bottom out towards the wall behind you first. Then you're folding from the hips. You're keeping your back nice and straight as you come down. Once you're down there, just gently let the hands relax down under the shoulders. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, squeeze the abdominals in nice and tight again as you straighten up and release. Inhale, stretch it up. Turn your hands out, exhale, pull in as your arms come down. Inhale, bend your knees, let your arms float up and exhale. Pull in to straighten up and release the shoulders. Great, we're gonna go down to the mat now. Sitting on your mat with your feet out on the mat there in front of you. Right, so feet hip width apart and flat on the mat. Sit up straight, release the shoulders. So try not to tense up through the shoulders, just let them relax down. Nice long neck, chin off the chest, hands relaxed down on the mat so you're Hands are resting down. Make sure you're not holding them up there. All right, so we're gonna do lean back warm up. And so it's just a little movement to begin with. So ready, go. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back just a touch. Now, as you exhale, engage the abdominals, squeeze them in to lift you up straight. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back a little bit further. Exhale, squeeze to come up straight. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back a little bit further still. Exhale, squeeze it up. And one more. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward, lean back to your maximum point where the lower back just touches down. And exhale, squeeze it up. Good, then lean back on your hands. Stretch your legs out there in front of you. Give them a little shake out. Good, and we're going to continue now. So get your feet into position again. Just um, getting ready to go into the lean backs again, but this time we're gonna go to that maximum point and come up, and we're gonna do that eight times. All right, so get ready. Sit up tall, release the shoulders down. All right, let's do it. Ready, go. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back all the way, and exhale, squeeze to come up. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. Keep the shoulders down and back, and lock those abdominals in to lift you. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. Exhale, squeeze to lift. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. And exhale, squeeze it up, four left. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. Exhale, pull in to lift. 
Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. Exhale, squeeze in those abdominals nice and hard. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. Exhale, squeeze it up. One more time. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. And exhale, squeeze it up there. Then lean back on your hands again. Stretch your legs out there, give them a shake. Good, now we're going to go down to the mat, spend a little bit of time just giving our back muscles a little bit of a, of a check-in really, see how they're doing, and also just a little bit of a massage before we continue. All right, get yourself ready to go all the way down to your mat this time. Sit up tall, shoulders down and back. Big deep breath in. Now as you exhale, Pull the abdominals in tight, tilt the pelvis forward. Now feel yourself coming down one vertebra at a time as controlled as you can. If you need a bit of help with your elbows into the mat to help yourself down, go for it. Once you're down there, stay right there. Pick your feet up off the mat, hands on your knees, and rock side to side over your lower back. All right. So side to side, over the lower back. Now, as you're rocking here on that lower back, start to bring your knees in just a little bit closer to your chest as you're rocking. Bring them up nice and close to the chest and you'll feel it go up higher up your spine. And now still rocking, just start to bring your feet down a little closer to your mat again to bring the lower part of your back down onto the mat, right to the very base of your spine. And then just keep doing that, bring them slowly, slowly up closer to your chest so they're pulled in nice and tight. And then as you're rocking, start to bring your feet down a little closer to the mat to get the base of your spine down on the mat. And then one more time, just keep rocking as you bring them all the way up. And then keep rocking as you bring your back down to the mat and then bring your feet down, stretch your legs out in front of you, give them a little shake, stay as you are, lying flat on your back, really comfortable and centered and then lift your arms up over your head, let your arms relax down behind you and then stretch up the arms and down the legs a little. Now you just want that lower back down on the mat. So tilt the pelvis forward. As soon as you get that tilt forwards, then you can get the lower back down into the mat. Now you don't have to do that bit. You can just relax on your mat as you are. But if you want to get that little bit of extra stretch, then tilt the pelvis forward a little bit. So you can press it down, lower back down to the mat. That lovely little stretch through the spine there. And then release and bring your arms over to the front. Bring your feet onto your mat and either rock yourself up to sitting like this or push yourself up, whatever feels better. All right, now next, we're going to stick with the lean back series. Uh, we're gonna do the single arm raise and then the double arm raise and then some, uh, what I call, I call them the sort of Cossack twists, the Russian dance twists. You'll see what I mean in a, in a few seconds. Well, in a few minutes even. All right, get yourself into position on your mat. Once again, uh, feet hip width apart. Sit up tall, long straight back. Imagine that piece of string pulling up the top of your head and then release the shoulders. Hands on the mat, palms facing the ceiling. So this time we're going to do the single arm raise. I'm going to get started and then if anything, you can always see the beauty of this is that you can just pause and rewind and see what's going on if you need to. But I'm just going to go straight into it. All right, so here, big deep breath in to prepare this time. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Now stay here, stay pulled in. As you inhale, bring your right arm up. And as you exhale, really pull the abdominals in and use them to pull you up. And the arm comes down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in tight, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Stay pulled in. Inhale up comes the left arm. And exhale, squeeze up and bring the arm down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in the abdominals. Keep them pulled in nice and tight as you lean back. Keep them pulled in here. Keep them pulled in as you inhale and bring your right arm up. And as you exhale, squeeze to lift up, bring the arm down. One more, inhale to prepare. 
exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward first let yourself lean back stay pulled in inhale up comes the left arm and exhale squeeze it up bring your arm down lean back on your hands stretch your legs out okay now that was the single arm raise and uh, not feeling too bad now the second one is much harder because you're going to bring both arms back as soon as the arms come back they're pulling you over so your abdominals have to work even harder to lift you up all right let's do it so get into position again right release the shoulders inhale to prepare as you exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward lean back stay pulled in here inhale they both come back and exhale squeeze it up bring the arms down inhale to prepare as you exhale lock the abdominals in tilt the pelvis forward keep them pulled in as you lean back keep pulled in inhale up they go and exhale squeeze it up bring the arms down two more inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward lean back stay pulled in inhale up they go exhale squeeze it up bring the arms down one more inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward lean back stay pulled in inhale up they go and exhale squeeze it up bring the arms down oh it's always really hard to talk through that one when i'm doing it stretch your legs out and give them a shake now we're going to go down to the mat for a quick rock side to side before we get into the last one of the group just because i'm aware that these can make well they can just aggravate the lower back a little bit you know because it is that whole area is working so before we get into that russian twist one i was telling you about let's uh have a little rock side to side so make this count a roll down to the mat now inhale to prepare and exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward and bring it down slowly one vertebra at a time until you are down and then stay there pick your feet up and have another rock side to side now it's probably you're probably going to need it over your lower back right so just find where you need it so just have a little play around with how close you pull your knees in if you need to bring it higher up your back or how low you bring your feet down towards the mat to bring it lower down your spine now normally your 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 back will let you know exactly where it needs it i'm on my sweet spot right here this is where i feel my back is asking me to pay it a little bit of attention here just to press out some of that tightness that builds up in the muscles as you're working them all right now let's get back to it so once again up to sitting get yourself ready and in the same position because this time um, we're going to do a twist now before we do this though i am going to talk you through this because um, it's quite uh, important how you hold your arms for this excuse me forgive me i've got something in my eye okay gone gone all right, so same position, but this time, with the legs that is, this time you're gonna bring your arms up into this position. Elbow level with the shoulder, both sides, but without tensing up through the spine, so keeping the shoulders down and relaxed. And this time, you're gonna inhale, and as you exhale, you're gonna tilt your pelvis forward and lean back to that position again, right? Then you're gonna take a big deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna lock your abdominals in as you bring your elbows around to one side and you're twisting at the waist to bring them around to the other side. You're bringing it back to the center and then you're squeezing up. Now, when you're doing this, uh, make sure you're keeping your elbows level, that you're not dipping down or dipping up. Keep it level. So if you imagine a semicircle from that side all the way around to the other side, yeah? That's the semicircle that you're drawing. So you're doing it from the waist. Let's do it, all right? Get ready, sit up tall. Elbows level with the shoulders. Chin off the chest. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Oh, now stay there, take a big deep breath in, you're gonna need it. 
and as you exhale, twist all the way over to one side. Now draw that big semicircle where you bring it over to the other side, then bring it back to the center and squeeze to lift. Okay? And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Stay right there, big deep breath in. Exhale, bring your elbow around, then bring it all the way to draw that semicircle right the way around to the other side, then bring it back to the center and squeeze it up. You need that big breath because it's got to last you all the way through that movement, right? So big deep breath in. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Stay right there, big deep breath in. Exhale, elbow comes around, bring it all the way over to the other side, bring it back to the center. Squeeze it up and one more time, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in and bring it back, hold it right there, big deep breath in. Exhale, elbow around, twist from the waist, bring it all the way around to the other side, bring it back to the center and now squeeze to lift it up and then bring your hands down and stretch your legs out and give them a shake. Good, now we're gonna go back down, and yes, you guessed it, another little rock side to side over the back, because it's gonna need it, right? Get yourselves ready. Feet hip width apart, sit up tall, big deep breath in. Exhale, pull in, bring it down slowly, 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 and there. Okay, once you're there, pick your feet up, start rocking. Now, as you're rocking here, start where you need it. Then start bringing your knees in a little closer, bring it higher up, and then bring your feet down a little bit closer to the floor again, to the mat there, and then pull your knees up a little closer to your chest again, and then bring your feet back down towards the mat, and again, one more time, bring them up close to the chest, bring your feet down a little close to the mat, Keep rocking side to side, bring your knees to the center. Hold there, now we're just gonna draw three circles with our knees stuck together one way, and then three circles the other way as well. Now just make sure here you can feel your lower back down on, on the mat, and your hands are on your knees, and they stay, your knees stay together all the way through here, okay? So ready, inhale to prepare, and exhale, pull in as you roll them around, and just keep breathing into this as you go around one, and two, and three, and now three the other way, and one, and two, and three. And then bring your feet down to your mat, stretch your legs out there in front of you, shake them out a little bit, get yourself centered and comfortable, and then when you are, lift your arms over your head, let them relax there, and either just stay that way and just relax into it the way it is, or inhale first. Exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, press the lower back down into the mat a little, and then keep your lower back locked into the mat as you just ever so gently stretch up the arms and down the legs, just to the wrists, just to the ankles. it there. Bring your arms back over to the front. Bring your feet onto the mat. And yes, once again, rock yourselves up to sitting and get ready for the next uh, set of exercises. We're going to do four full roll downs, just four of them, okay? Let's make them really tidy, really controlled. All right, let's do it. So get yourself into position again, maybe the same position you were in for the lean backs, but this time we're gonna take it all the way down, the arms come over, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, check the technical corner or look at any of the other classes where we've done them and you'll soon find out whether you want you to take the, um, the beginner, the intermediate or the more advanced version, okay? I'm gonna do the advanced version, but feel free to do any of the others. All right, let's go. Sit up tall again, release the shoulders. Big deep breath in. As you exhale, start pulling in, tilt the pelvis forward. Now you're pulling the abdominals in and really using them to control that descent down to the mat, coming down one vertebra after the other until your head is down. When it is, a big deep breath in as your arms go over your head behind you. 
And as you exhale, bring the arms over, keep the shoulders down and back and lock the abdominals in to lift yourself up again. Pause there, big deep breath in. As you exhale, pull in and pulling in tighter and squeezing tighter and flatter, really to get that lower back down to the mat. It's always the hardest bit as you come down when your head is down. Release it all as you inhale and bring your arms over. As you exhale, bring the arms over, shoulders down in the back, chin off the chest, lock the abdominals in to keep them in control, all the way up. Two more, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, squeezing in, making sure the pelvic floor is fully involved with the rest of the abdominals in, slowly does it all the way down. Inhale, arms go over. As you exhale, bring the arms over, steady, shoulders down, back, don't you let them take over, they're going to want to, but don't let them. And one more time, inhale to prepare, exhale, a pull into the pelvic floor, bring it down, slowly does it, trying not to tense up through the shoulders, we're not succeeding very well. Inhale, the arms go over. And exhale, bring them over and squeeze it all the way up. Good. Okay, lean back on your hands, stretch your legs out, give them a shake. And from here, we're going to turn over. So turn yourselves over onto your front because now we're going to do some chest raises and we're going to do some exercises that focus on strengthening the back muscles as well as the rest of the core. Yes. All right, so lying down on your front. Hip. I'm just getting myself centered on my mat a little bit better. There we are. Okay, so lying down on the mat. Arms out there, up above you. Palms facing each other, shoulder width apart. Feet hip width apart there. Nose just off the mat, so your face is looking down. And for this next one, we're going into the diagonal stretch where you're going to lift your right arm and left leg up off the mat with that little pull at the top of the movement and then down, and then the other side. All right, so right arm, left leg first. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your right arm and your left leg up off the mat. Now a little stretch up the arm to the fingertips and down the leg to the ankle there, and then release as you come down. And exhale, lift the left arm and the right leg up. Right thigh just high enough off the mat to clear the mat. Stretch, inhale as you come down. Exhale, right arm, left leg, lift and then lengthen. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, left arm, right leg and stretch. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, lift and stretch. Inhale, down and exhale, lift and stretch. And bring them down and now just rest your head on your hands in front of you and release. Okay, now we're going to get into eight chest raises. Now for the chest raises today, we're gonna to do two uh, types. One is gonna be the classic chest raise with the arms down by the sides, and then we're also gonna include some with some side bends as well. Let's just get started with the classic ones first. So lie down on your front, nose off the mat, bring your arms around to the sides of your thighs there. Once they're down there, pull your fingertips down, so stretch the arms down towards your feet and keep your neck straight. Okay, so eight, where we're just gonna use the back muscles to lift the chest up off the mat and back down and only lift as high as feels comfortable. Don't force anything. All right, here goes. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, lift your chest up. Inhale as you come down. And exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. And exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. And exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Four more. And exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. 
exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down, and one more. Exhale, lift and hold, and bring it down. Rest your head on your hands in front of you. And yeah, release and relax. Now, just before we go into the uh, chest raises with the side bends, let's have a little stretch. So in up into the box position. So start by getting yourself into that box position, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and then just sit back, bring your head down, stretch your arms out. So just get yourself into child's pose or prayer. And then once you're down there, just release and relax. Now remember, you can stay up on your knees if you need to, but if you can, sit back on those heels because you get a nicer stretch, you get a better one through the spine. Stretches out the lower back really nicely. Okay, now that's it for the stretches. We'll do some cat stretches later, but right now we need to get into those chests, chest raises with the side bends. So get yourself down. So this time we're going to do what we did before. We're going to lift up, but then once we're there, we're going to slide, so you're going to slide your left hand down the side of your thigh, down towards the side of your knee there. You're going to let it slide back up, and then you're going to bring your chest down. So you lift and you hold that high tuck off the mat as you slide, and you'll feel a little pinch in the waist there. That's what we're after, getting into those obliques as well. All right, let's do it. So hands down the sides of your thighs, nose just off the mat, chin off the chest, inhale to prepare. As you exhale, lift your chest up off the mat and just hold there. Big deep breath in. As you exhale, slide your left hand down the side of your thigh towards your knee till you feel that pinch in the waist. Bring it back to the center and then lower your chest back down. Now we're gonna go to the right. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale, exhale, slide to the right till you feel that pinch in your waist. Bring it back to the center. Lower your chest back down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale. Exhale, slide to the left. Keep it really flat. And back down. Now we're going to go to the right. Inhale. Exhale, lift and hold first. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale, slide to the right. Bring it back to the center. Lower your chest down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift and hold, inhale. Exhale, slide back to the center. Lower your chest down, inhale. Exhale, lift and hold, inhale. Exhale, slide to the right, bring it back and down. One more on each side, inhale. Exhale, lift and hold, inhale. Exhale, slide, bring it back. Inhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, lift and hold. Pause there while you inhale. And exhale, slide to the right. Bring it back to the center. Bring it down. Rest your head on your hands in front of you. <sighs> nice. And now come up into the box position again. And sit back into child's pose of prayer again. Head down, stretch the arms out, walk the fingertips forward along the mat to get that beautiful stretch working. Oh, it feels really good, it really does. Release into it. Good, and now come up into the box position because now we're going to do those cat stretches I promised you earlier. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and a flat back. So make sure you're not arched up or, you know, try and make it as, as flat as possible. All right, now inhale. And as you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, bring your chin down to your chest and push your shoulders and spine up to the ceiling as high as you can. Make a beautiful arch and then inhale. As you bring your back flat, stay that way or continue it on up into the cow where your head and bottom come up and then exhale tilt your pelvis forward chin to chest push your shoulders and spine up inhale as you bring it flat or continue it on up into the cow 
exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, chin to chest, arch up tall. Inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up. And one more time, exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest, arch up tall. Inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up. And then come into the box position. Okay, now we're going to go in straight into the next exercise, which is going to be the swimming exercise where you're going to bring your right arm and your left leg up until they're parallel to the mat or where you feel they are anyway. And then you're going to bring them back down and then you're going to go with the other side. Now, we're going to do a few ones with a little break in between each one and then we're going to get into that series where we just flow from one to the other, where we get it working with the breathing really well. All right, so get yourselves ready. Now, keep your movements uh, balanced. So make sure your, your arm and your leg move at the same sort of uh, pace and keep it as centered. Stay really pulled in through your core when you're lifting into position. All right, let's do it. Inhale. Exhale, pull in as your right arm and your left leg lift up into position. Stay pulled in, hold, stretch up that arm and down that leg. And then bring your hand and your knee back into position. Knees hip width apart so you're centered and solid. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, now your left hand, your left knee slide along the mat, then you lift them up until you're stretched. Stay centered, try not to tilt over if you can help it, and bring them back in. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, right arm, left leg, go up into position. Stretch, stay centered. And then bring them back, and one more here. Inhale. Exhale, left arm, right leg, lift, stretch, and bring it back. Now just have a quick little sit back, head down, and stretch it out. And if we haven't finished with them. Okay, come back up. Now, um, so now instead of having a little pause in between each one, we're going to go from one into the other okay straight in without pausing and if you get your movements to fit in with your breathing pattern it works a treat so it really flows nicely so breathe fully inhale to prepare exhale right arm and left leg go out inhale as you bring them back into position exhale left arm right leg come up Inhale as you bring your hand and knee back down to the mat. Exhale, pull in as you go out. Inhale as you bring them down. Exhale, pull in as you go out. Inhale as you bring them back. Exhale, pull in as you go out. Inhale, bring them back. Exhale, pull in as you go out. Inhale, bring them back. One more on each side. Exhale, pull in as you go out. Inhale, bring them back to the mat. Exhale, pull in as you go out. And bring them back, good. And then sit back again, head down. Stretch the arms out. Walk the fingertips forward. Good. And then sit yourselves up, ready to get into the next little group of exercises. So for that, we're going to go back down to the mat. Right, so, um, Get yourself sitting onto your mat. Actually, no, we're gonna get yourself lying down um, on your side, right? So lie on your side. Head resting on your arm. Get yourself as straight as you can be. Use the edge of your mat as a guideline to lie parallel to. Okay, then your hips should be stacked perpendicular to the mat. 
knees are a little soft, but not too bent. Okay, and you can have your fingertips on the mat here to help with your balance. If you're used to this, you can bring them along your side right away. I'll start with them down here and then I'll bring them up. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna do eight uh, classic side raises where we lift both legs up off the mat. Now, if you have any issues with your lower back at the moment, you don't have to lift both legs up. You can just lift the top leg up, okay? Let's go, inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in as you lift both legs up off the mat and hold. Inhale as you bring your legs gently down. And exhale, pull in as you lift and hold. Inhale as you lower them down. Exhale, pull in as you lift and hold. Inhale as you bring them down. And exhale, pull in as you lift and hold. And bring them down. Now, we're gonna keep going, but for the next four, I'm gonna bring my arm along your side. If you haven't already done that, Try it with your arm along your side. It is harder because you have to balance more, but it's worth it, it's fun. Okay, here goes, inhale. Exhale, pull in as you lift and hold. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, lock those abdominals in nice and tight. Inhale, bring your legs down, two more. Exhale, pull in as you lift. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, pull in as you lift. And inhale, bring them down. Hand to the front, pull your knees forward just to release the glutes in the lower back, which have been working quite hard there as well as your muscles running right down your side. But yeah, <sighs> release it there. Good. Now we're gonna stay with the side series just for a couple more exercises, not too many, because we don't wanna overdo it. But now bring your legs back in line. So legs go back out there. Now this time we're gonna lift up and then we're gonna keep them there and we're gonna lift the top leg up and down like that, all right? So it's the top leg lifting. Again, though, any issues with your lower back, just keep the lower leg down on the mat and just lift that top leg, yeah? All right, so hand on the mat or along your side. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in as you lift your legs up. Now hold there, abdominals pulled in, everything nice and solid. Hand in the front or hand along your side, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the abdominals in as you lift your top leg up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, squeeze as you lift the top leg up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, pull in as you lift that top leg. Inhale, bring it down. Try not to let your bottom leg sink to the mat. Exhale, lift the top leg. Inhale, bring it down. Four left. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze as you lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down one more time. Exhale, lift, bring it down, bring them both down. Hand to the front, oh yes, pull the knees forward. And if you're feeling a bit tight in there, just give them a good old thump and a tap. Good, oh, feels good to release all those muscles. And then there is one more left on this side before we roll over and do the other side. So this time, um, we're gonna get back into position. So stretch the legs out there. But this time, instead of lifting the top leg up and down, you're gonna lift, and then you're gonna bring the top leg forward and back in line, top leg forward, back in line, four times, and then you're gonna hold in the center, and then you're gonna push your leg back four times as well. Now here, it's all about staying centered. When the leg kicks forward, it wants to pull you over, so your abdominals have to really lock in to keep yourself solid and grounded and centered. Um, and that's the challenge of the exercise. So you're trying not to roll forwards too much or not to roll back, but to stay, to keep that sideline. It's hard. All right, let's go. Inhale to prepare. Hand in front, hand side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you lift. Okay, now keep your legs off the mat there. Now, for this one, you need to lift your top leg off your bottom leg so your feet are hip width apart. And the top leg is gonna kick forward. Make it small. Don't make it too big or it, it's just, it just becomes impossible. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you kick the top leg forward. Inhale, bring it back in line. Exhale, pull in as you kick the top leg forward. 
Inhale, bring it back in line. Exhale, squeeze as you kick that top leg forward. Inhale, bring it back in line. Exhale, kick that top leg forward. Inhale, hold. Okay, hold there. Now you see my arm is up by my, my head there. So stop myself counting on my arm to give my balance. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, kick the top leg back. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, push the leg back behind you. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, try and hold that side line. The abdominals are pulled in really tight. Inhale, release. And one more time. Exhale, kick the top leg back. Inhale, bring it in line. Bring it down, bring the butt down. Ha, oh, hand to the front. Ooh, tap it out. Good, now this side is done. We're gonna need to roll over onto our other side now. So that's what we're gonna do. Do it now, get yourself lying. On the other side. It's always worth taking just that little bit of time to make sure you're set up really well and that it feels as comfortable as it's ever going to be in this position. All right, good. So now we're going to do this side. Eight classic side raises. The first four, you can have your fingertips on the mat or all eight with your arm along your side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you lift both legs up. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, pull in as you lift and hold. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, squeeze those abdominals in tight and flat. Keep them pulled in. Inhale, release them on the way down. Exhale, squeeze to lift. Inhale down, four left. Exhale, pull in, lift and hold. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, pull in. We've got a wet chewy come onto the mat. Inhale, bring them down. Oh no, wet dog. Exhale, squeeze as you lift. Inhale, bring them down one more time, folks. Oh, he's all wet. And bring them down. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video now because I've got to get rid of this wet dog. My beautiful chew, but yeah, not, not very pleasant. All right. I'm sure I closed that door. Okay, so, excuse the intrusion. Um, where were we? We were lying on that side. I think we had finished all eight side raises. Um, so what we're gonna do next is the one where the top leg lifts up and down. So let me get back into position. I'm a little bit wet now from <laughs> the wet dog. Our lovely Chewy needs to be in on the action, always. All right, so this time the top leg's gonna go up and down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you lift both legs up. Okay, hold them off the mat there. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the top leg, keep it nice and long. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, squeeze in the abdominals, stay solid. Inhale as it comes down. Exhale, pull in as you lift. Inhale, bring your leg down. Exhale, pull in as you lift. Inhale, bring it down. Four more, exhale, pull in as you lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze as you lift. Inhale, down. Two more. Exhale, squeeze as you lift. Inhale, down. One more time. Exhale, lift, bring it down. Bring them both down. Hand to the front. Pull your knees forward. Okay, now the next one is that awkward one where instead of lifting the leg, it comes forward and then back. Um, so yes, try not to rely on your arm to keep yourself steady. Really try and use the abdominals to do the work um, that because that is the focus. All right, let's go. So legs back out there again. This time the legs are going to come forward for four and then behind for four. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, lift them up, hold them there. Lift your top foot off the bottom foot, feet hip width apart. I'm lifting my hand up now. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, kick the top leg forward. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, squeeze as you kick it forward. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, squeeze as you kick it forward. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, squeeze as you kick it forward. Oh, that feels hard. Bring it back in line. Okay, hold there. Inhale. Exhale, push the top leg back. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, push the top leg back. Inhale, bring it in line. Exhale, kick the top leg back. 
Inhale, bring it in line one more time. Exhale, push it back, bring it in line, bring it down, bring them both down. Hand to the front, pull your knees forward. And we have now done this side too, yes. Good. All right, now from here, roll over onto your back. Lie on your, down on your back, pick your feet up, hands on your knees, and yep, rock side to side. Now, having just done the side series, we're trying to get roll over onto our sides a little bit more. So keep your feet touching, but let your knees drop open. And that way you're able to go right the way over from one side, right the way over onto the other side. You can take it over really quite far there. And go right over. And I would say also um, with the feet a little bit lower to the mat, so you're able to get onto that lower back and to the glutes bit more. We're going to stretch out the glutes now, but just to give them that little nice massage before we do. Okay, and then I'm just going to have a few circles here with the knees open, just because that's what my back, my lower back is telling me it wants. There. All right, and then feet down, stretch your legs out, give them a little shake, and then bring your feet onto the mat, and now we're going to stretch out the glutes, so lift your foot and place it across your knee. Now I've got my left foot across my right knee and now I'm going to lift my right foot up off the mat. I'm going to reach through between my legs and hold on to the back of that right thigh and then I'm going to release my legs. So I'm holding on to my legs with my hands there but that means my legs can release completely. And those nice relaxed legs and here feeling a really good stretch through the glutes and hip muscles. And the more you pull that knee in closer towards your chest, the more intense that stretch is gonna feel. And if you need it to be less intense, you let your right foot come down closer to the mat. And you do that by uh, uh, just widening the grip there behind your thigh. It might be that you've got just your fingertips touching, or you can even have a nice big gap allowing your foot to get closer, or you can even wrap a hand towel through and hold onto that to make it easier, as I've shown you before. Okay, now let's do the other side. So feet down, right foot goes across the left knee, lift the left foot up, reach through between your legs, hold on to the back of that leg and hold on, adjust it till it's working just right. You wanna feel a good stretch working. You should always feel just that little bit sore as you feel that muscle stretching out and really breathe into it. Good. And then bring your feet down to the mat. Good. And rock yourself, no, no, actually, no, don't rock yourself. Stay where you are because we're just gonna finish with just a little bit of shoulder bridge just to get everything moving really nicely. So feet hip width apart, flatten the mat, arms down by your sides, and um, get ready for the shoulder bridge warm up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the abdominals in first, tilt the pelvis forward next, and now lift your hips and bottom up off the mat, just a few vertebrae lifting to begin with. And now, breathing normally, just gently feel your way back down, coming down one vertebra after the other until you're down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward first all the way, and then lift up, lift up a little bit higher and then bring your spine smoothly, slowly down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward first. Let yourself lift up this time. Lift up a little bit higher still, so you're almost at your full stretch. Inhale, bring it down. And one more time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward first. Lift yourself up to that. Full stretch, straight line from knees to shoulders, glutes, holding you up there. Okay, now breathing normally, 
just work your way back down one vertebra at a time working right the way down your spine until your bottom is down on the mat and when it is stretch your legs out give them a shake now this one as you know can get those hamstrings cramping up uh, from time to time mine were starting to cramp up earlier um, so if you do if they do cramp up just stretch your legs out give them a shake all right now feet back into position classic shoulder bridge now inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward first and now you're lifting one vertebra off the mat after the other until you've reached that straight line from knees to shoulders inhale as your arms go over your head exhale pull in the abdominals as you bring your spine down to the mat one vertebra at a time until your bottom is down when it is inhale as the arms come over to the front inhale exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward and lift your way up to the full stretch inhale as your arms go over exhale pull in as you bring your spine back down to the mat when your bottom is down inhale arms come over to the front inhale exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward and you're lifting your spine steady up off the mat till you've reached that full stretch inhale arms go over exhale pull in as you feel your way back down when your bottom's down inhale arms come over one more time inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward now don't rush this bit try and feel yourself coming up feel one vertebra lifting off the mat after the other till you're on your shoulder blades big deep breath in exhale pull in on your way down inhale as your arms come over to the front stretch your legs out give them a quick shake bring it back now almost there we've just got one more exercise in the shoulder bridge series so what we're going to do is we're going to in a few seconds uh, we're going to lift up to that full shoulder bridge and then we're going to simply stretch the right leg in this case out so it's parallel to the left and hold and then bring the foot down and come down and then you're going to lift the other side that's all it is and then down so obviously as soon as that leg lifts up off the floor it's the opposite side the glutes and hamstrings on the opposite side and all your core that are holding you up there that's why it makes it harder all right let's go inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward lift your way up till you've reached that diagonal from knees to shoulders okay inhale as you stretch your right leg out so your right thigh is parallel to the left. Exhale, keep pulled in and hold, 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 hold. Inhale, the foot comes down to the mat where it started from. And exhale, pull in as you bring your spine back down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward. Lift up into your full stretch. Inhale, stretch your left leg out, parallel to your right. Hold your shape. Exhale, hold, 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 hold. Inhale, the foot goes down exhale pull in as you roll your spine back down to the mat inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward lift up to that full stretch inhale stretch your right leg out hold 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 try not to tilt inhale bring your foot down exhale roll your spine back down to the mat and just one more left inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward lift up into that full stretch inhale as you stretch that left leg out hold 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 inhale foot goes down exhale pull in as you roll your spine back down to the mat and when you're down stretch your legs out give them a shake bring your feet back onto the mat hug your knees in rock side to side over your back and the chances are your back will let you know where it needs the attention okay and you can yeah you can just rock side to side with the knees down or pulled up close to the chest you can even do some circles you can put your knees up together or you can let them go apart 
you can do figures of eight where you bring them in back to the center and push them down away from you. And you know there's so much choice there to get to those back muscles and it's worth doing because it just really loosens it up a little bit if it's feeling a bit tight because after all we have been working those muscles all the way through the class. And now bring your feet down, rock yourself up to sitting, one final time into the box position and we're going to finish with some cat stretches. So inhale, exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to just an arch up tall. Inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up and exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and arch up tall. Inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and arch up tall. Inhale, bring it flat or come on up there into the cow and one more time. Bring it flat or continue it on up. And that, my friends, is that. Well done, everybody. And um, well done. See you very soon. Love to you all. Take care. Bye.